Hey guys, welcome back to another box break for more recent Marvel trading cards. This time I'm doing Marvel Annual 2019 to 2020 and I've had these sitting for a while. I've got a few more of these because usually or not usually you never can complete a base set of these with the full box and that's what I'm going for. I will try to complete the base set. Hopefully I can find a sketch in this box, but sketches are quite rare with this set. And what the heck is this? The packs are all jumbled in the box. That's pretty annoying. I think they should have maybe made the boxes a little bit smaller. Hopefully that doesn't affect the cards. But we'll see. Okay, now I'm making some noise. So let's see how these look and what we can find. I've seen a previous break of these on Kyoto Combat Games' channel and I will probably, or not probably, I will leave a link in the description and as usually I will try to give a summarization of the odds as best as I can because these are quite annoying with the recent upper deck sets. So okay, so here we have the Queen of Angels, Vision, Storm variant tier 3 and the only thing variant about these cards is the background which is a little bit stupid in my opinion and here we have a very nice chase card Marvel Comics Spider-Man Earth 616 and Earth 928 uh, which is obviously Spider-Man 2099 so let's put these here and here we have a base of Thunderbolt Ross and I forgot to mention, or but you can probably notice it, there are 5 cards per pack and I haven't looked how many packs are in the box, I think 16, maybe 20 but I will put that in the description anyways, so here we have Spider-Woman Wolverine, The Wrecker, oh and a very nice Cosmic Ghost Rider, Future Watch Heroes, the chase cards in this set look super nice, I really like the foiling on them, the base, car base cards are a little bit bland to be honest, Odin, So that's a little bit of a change from the previous Marvel set, uh, Marvel annual sets, because the chase cards and those were mostly pretty garbage. So here we have Iron Man, variant tier 4 Captain America, and the number one spot Miles Morales Spider-Man, another really nice looking chase card. Let's see how much we can find of these. The one below all. And the owl. And wow, these are awfully cut. The centering on those is really bad. That's another annoying thing. Well, it is what it is. Terrible centering. Lawfe. What the hell are Upper Deck doing? Crossbones. I mean, these are not exactly cheap cards. Variant tier 2. And a really nice number one spot Thor. And Rocket Raccoon. Wow, these are badly cut. I haven't seen such miscuts since the 90s. And again, Braun, Nick Fury, uh, Fury <laughs> variant tier 2, and another nice chase card Marvel Comics Magneto Earth 616 and Earth 58163. <laughs> Don't really know from which storyline that is. 
Loki and Black Panther. Upper deck are really messing up here with the base set. Brawn Hammer, White Fox, Hawkeye variant tier 3, and number one spot, the New Mutants. 2019 and Venom Wilson Fisk whoever cut these cards should be fired Nick Fury Variant Tier 3 and number one spot House of X 2019 and Lunar Snow Base So I don't grade cards but if you're looking for a PSA 10 <laughs> good luck Misty Knight especially on the base cards. A variant tier 1 of Gibbon and Humble Beginnings Hulk. That's a, also a very nice chase cards. Chase card. Bra. Let's put that there. And Rick Jones and Cyclops. Enchantress, Spider-Man variant tier 4, awfully miscut, and a spe splash tacular. looks like Cyclops versus Thor, or I don't know, let's see, Captain Mar- okay, <laughs> Captain Marvel versus Thor, so sadly I will probably not find a sketch in this box. Still nice cards. I like lenticular cards. Well, where do I put this? Maybe here. And number one spot Black Panther, number one, 2018. And Last Son of Craven. Did he have more than one? <laughs> Betty Ross Banner. Heimdall, Lady Sif variant tier 2 and Humble Beginnings Black Widow mm, 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 mm. Where did I put these? Oh, there. Are. And Old Man Quill or Star Lord Here we have Squirrel Girl, Thunderbolt Ross variant tier 2 and a nice number one spot Immortal Hulk, Vanguard and Vulcan. Ten or Io, I'm not sure, don't know the character. Lawfey, one of the ice giants, I think. Frost giants, variant tier one. And a hologram numbered 15 out of 20 of Echo. Oh, that's nice. Mm, let's put that here. And uh, Marvel Comics again Spider-Man, this time 616 and 1610. So Peter Parker and Miles Morales. And a base of Puck. Whoa, whoa. Wrecker again. 
Death terribly cut. What the heck? Crossbones variant tier 2. Also badly cut. Spider Woman number 1. 2020 number 1 spot. Namor. And Hippo. Terribly cut Spider-Man, variant tier 1 Brawn, Humble Beginnings Jean Grey, and Miles Morales Spider-Man, and Banshee. Daredevil, nice J. Lee artwork. Mary Jane Watson Parker <laughs> and Minotaur variant tier 2 and hum Humble Beginnings Blade, that's cool and another Storm I think the previous one was probably one of those unnecessary variant tiers Here we have Jack O' Lantern, variant tier 3 Venom, number one spot Guardians of the Galaxy, Captain America, and Lady Sif. So here's what I got out of the box. I did get 47 base cards with no duplicates, no duplicates in the box whatsoever. 3 variants tier 1, 6 tier 2, 4 tier 3 and 2 tier 4. Then I did get 8 number 1 spot chase cards, 4 humble beginnings chase cards, 3 marvel comics chase cards, 1 future watch heroes chase card and the big hits in the box were this nice echo hologram parallel from the base set and this yeah, very mediocre splashticular lenticular cards. One of the worst lenticular cards I have ever seen. Usually I really like them, but the image they chose for this is pretty terrible in my opinion. It's just a simple panel from a comic book with a very weird version of Captain Marvel fighting Thor. And yeah, now we're going to into my gripes with this set. The base set looks very bland in my opinion, no foil whatsoever and the worst thing is they are terribly cut and this Wrecker card is the worst one of them all. As you can see it has even still left some white on the left corner which is very fucking annoying. It looks as if the Wrecker himself operated the cutting tool with his crowbar and also the variant tiers or parallels, whatever you want to call them, are garbage in my opinion. Instead of choosing to at least give us a different image in the front of the card, they chose to change the comic book that's depicted in the background, which is very annoying and also I assume there are tier 1 through 4 for all base cards. So if you're obsessed with completing a set, this is impossible. You have to complete 5 base sets, which is dumb as hell. I'm sorry, but I'm a little bit pissed. But at least the chase cards are really nice, because that was one of my gripes with the previous Marvel Annual sets, where the chase cards usually looked very terrible. And these all have some very nice foiling on them. I think they look pretty cool. And honestly, yeah, I'm a little bit pissed. I've got some more boxes of these, but I don't know if I'm even going to try to complete the base set. I hope I can complete it with some of, some of the variant tiers, but we'll see. Yeah. 
that's it for this break. Thanks for watching and maybe till next time. Bye bye.